Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Harsham Ali Khan. So already I have completed six short problems and three main problems on techniques of financial statement analysis. Preparing the comparative statement, common size statement and trend analysis. Now in this video I am going to cover up the next problem that is problem number three. So if you join now you may not be able to understand so my suggestion watch the videos from beginning if you have not watched I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel select the subject cost control and management accounting select the videos on techniques of financial statement analysis watch the first video be thorough on what are the techniques available how to make comparative common size trend I have explained in detail and first video on short problems you watch that definitely you will get the idea of how to make the comparative now before starting the third, uh, fourth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which are given in the link under my description. Always keep ready the problem. Take a screenshot of the solution of the fourth problem. Then I'll explain all the points. See the fourth problem. The following is the profit and loss account of Muskan and Mahek Limited for the year 2010 and 2011. The so last year 2010, current year 2011. Prepare a comparative income statement and comment on the profitability. So here income statement is given. The credit side by sales less returns. Debit side opening stock purchases less returns. Wages, salaries, rent and taxes. Then next page, depreciation, selling expense, commission, loss on sale of plant, interest paid, net profit. Credit side are sales less returns, closing stock, by income from investment, by dividend receipt. So these are the items given on the debit side and credit side of the profit and loss account. Now we have to make the comparative income statement in a statement form, not in the account form. So how to make first you take the sales less returns from sales you have to deduct the cost of goods sold the cost of goods sold are not directly given but here we are given opening stock purchases direct expenses closing stock by using these we have to calculate the cost of goods sold now how it is presented see here carefully Muskan and Mike limited comparative income statement for the year ended 20, 2010 2011 so four columns as usual last three four problems we have done on comparative last year 2010 current year 2011 absolute change and percentage change first of all sales less returns given on the credit side last year 18 lakh current year 21 lakh 60 000. don't write anything in the absolute change percentage change after completing first two columns then only we'll start calculating for second and uh, third and fourth column. So see carefully. Cost of goods sold. Opening stock last year 1,53,000. Current year 3,60,000. Similarly, purchases last year 9 lakh. Current year 9,90. Wages. Wages are the direct expenses. That's why we consider in cost of goods sold. So wages 1,8,000, 1,44,000. Total okay? minus closing stock is given on the credit side last year current year the cost of goods sold the opening stock plus purchases plus wages minus closing stock you will get the cogs cost of goods sold so a is the sales b is the cost of goods sold a minus b we will get the gross profit so here gross profit is 9,99,000 last year and current year is 10,71,000 right now we'll take the operating expenses. It is not given in the problem. You have to identify which are the operating expenses. Here salaries, rent and taxes, depreciation, selling expense, commission. That's it. These are given on the debit side of profit and loss account. They are the operating expenses. I denote the operating expense as D. Now we are having gross profit and operating expenses. Gross profit is C. And operating expenses is D. So C minus D is operating profit. 
ये ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट C माइनस D नाउ वी डिनोट इट एस E तो नाइन लाख नाइनटी नाइन थाउजेंड माइनस टू लाख फोर्टी वन टू हंड्रेड यू विल गेट सेवेन लाख फिफ्टी सेवेन एट हंड्रेड दैट इज़ द ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट लास्ट ईयर करंट ईयर सेम टेन लाख सेवेंटी वन थाउजेंड माइनस थ्री ट्वेंटी वन फोर हंड्रेड स Operating profit is given non-operating incomes. The non-operating incomes are income from investment and dividend received. Income from investment, dividend received. These two items are given on the credit side of profit and loss account. Credit side of profit and loss account. Right? So these two total 30,600 and 40,500. This we denote it as F. This is non-operating income. Now non-operating expenses. Debit side, you can see loss on sale of plant and interest paid. These two are called non-operating expenses. This is the new point in this problem. You have to remember. The so non-operating expenses consist of loss on sale of plant and interest paid, whereas non-operating income are dividend received and interest on investment. That's it. So this is denoted as G. So here F. Is the non-operating income? G is the non-operating expenses. Now net operating profit is seven lakh fifty thousand. Now we need the net profit. Operating profit plus non-operating income minus non-operating expense. So that is E plus F minus G. E plus F minus G. So net profit we have got seven lakh sixty six eight hundred seven lakh forty two five hundred. That's it. First two columns we have completed 2010-2011. We got the net profit of last year and also we got the net profit of the current year. Now we start calculating absolute change. Last two three videos I have explained you how to find out the absolute change. Current year value minus last year value. So current year value is twenty one lakh sixty thousand. Last year value is eighteen lakh. So twenty one lakh sixty thousand minus eighteen lakh, you will get three lakh sixty thousand. Similarly, all these are the current year values, and these are the last year values. Current year value minus last year value, you will get absolute change. How to find out percentage change? Absolute change divided by last year's value into hundred. So what is the absolute change here? Three lakh sixty thousand. What is the last year value? Eighteen lakh. So three lakh sixty thousand divided by eighteen lakh into hundred, you will get twenty percent. Similarly, two lakh seven thousand divided by one lakh fifty three thousand into hundred, you will get one thirty five point two nine. Ninety thousand divided by nine lakh into hundred, you will get ten percent. Then thirty six thousand divided by one lakh eight thousand into hundred, you will get thirty three point three three percent. Like this, you have to calculate all percentage change for all the values. Over. After making this income statement, it is asking you to comment on the profitability position of the company. Now, by seeing these percentages, we have to give the comment. Last two three problems, I have explained you how to give the comment. First, we compare. The percentage change in sales and purchase percentage change in gross profit. Here sales uh, sales ch changed by twenty percent. Sales increased by twenty percent, whereas gross profit increased by seven point two one percent. Lot of difference is there. Sales are increasing at twenty percent, whereas uh, gross profit is increasing only by seven point two one percent. Why the rate of gross profit is so less? Because the cost of goods sold is increasing at a very high rate. What is the rate? Thirty-five point nine six. Sales are increasing only by twenty percent, whereas cost of goods sold is increasing by thirty-five point nine six percent. Due to heavy increase in cost, the profitability is coming down seven point two one. That is the first interpretation. Sales increased by twenty percent, whereas COGS increased by thirty-five point nine six. Hence, the gross profit increased only by 7.21 percent. First interpretation completed. Now, from gross profit, we are coming to operating profit. The gross profit, the gross profit increased by 7.21 percent. 
but operating profit has decreased by 21%. So instead of increasing, the operating profit has decreased. Why? Because the operating expenses has increased at a very high rate, 36.57%. So as the expenditure, as the cost increases, the profitability will come down. The operating profit has decreased because the operating expenses increased heavily. That's why the operating. So second condition, the operating profit expenses increased by 36.57%. So the operating profit decreased by 2.14%. That is the second. Now third one is, the non-operating income increased by 32.35%, whereas non-operating expenses increased by 83.33%, still further increased. Non-operating expenses increased by 83.33%, whereas non-operating income has increased only by 32%. That is the reason why the net to profit has decreased by 3.17%. So here, the non-operating income increased by 32.35 and non-operating expense increased by 83.33%. Therefore, the net profit decreased by 3.17%. So we have explained how the percentages are increasing. What is observed from this analysis? The company had, has not controlled the costs. The expenses are increasing heavily during the current year 2011. When expenses increases, then definitely the profitability has come down. The ultimate conclusion from this analysis, we can conclude that the profitability position has come down in the year 2011. Last one. From the above analysis, it is seen that the profitability position has decreased in the year 2011. That's all. So this is the end of problem number four. Inshallah, we'll continue the next problem in the next video.